많이 나로 방금 말아 걸어 내게 막혀 겨우 모든 것이 바꿔 야 Alrighty guys, welcome back to the vlog. Another episode working on the $100 disco. I know, I want to go wheeling too. We're going to be doing some wheeling soon. But tonight, more progress on Hundy. So, uh, it's a Friday evening after work, not going to lie. Really not feeling particularly motivated. But uh, coming out here and seeing all the cool tube work we did in the last episode, I think I've got enough motivation to uh, crack into it. Um, so, what we're going to tackle this episode, doing a bit of a guard chop. Um, yeah, there's more important things to be doing on the truck than that, but I've got materials for the guard chop, I've got some time, and uh, I don't have anything else to do um, because I'm waiting for parts. So I figure, hey, why not get into a guard chop? As you guys know, or should know, it's already got quite a significant guard chop. However, being a race truck, this thing is going to get absolutely caned. I know, everyone's said, why don't you make a ute? Because winch wagons are cool. However, being a wagon, it's obviously got a lot more overhang at the back. So what we're going to do is tackle uh, the biggest guard chop you can basically do. Um, so I'm thinking we'll bring it up to about here, um, nice and high. Obviously, there's all this horrible mess which uh, has been on the truck for far too long, which we've got to get rid of. Um, these tubes are going as well. We're going to be remaking them on an angle that tucks up. Basically, just trying to get as much corner clearance. Um, so that, yeah, you know, better departure angle. So I think we'll start off by marking it out and um, then you yeah, will keep cutting. Well, it's not often you uh, start a rear quarter panel chop by marking out the inside of your guards, but hey, race trucks. Um, so as you can tell, really aggressive. I do still want to keep the uh, rear light bucket. So uh, what we've got, we'll be running at the bottom line of this tape mark down. So as you can see, it is uh, not a huge height difference between the top of the arch and where it drops down. I didn't want to go straight back, obviously because of the light, but also because um, people where they just go straight back, yeah, I just not a big fan of it. So yeah, if we come around, just kiss the bottom of the light, and then uh, we've got a little bit of a step to negotiate inside. Um, it comes round, round there, sorry, and then we'll have to go up and across. So um, obviously this is also going to mean that all these bars are going. So we'll chop that and get chopping. So it's only me tonight, so I'll just chuck you on a tripod and do a wee time lapse. God shot. How cool. So uh, during the week I went out and picked up some uh, welding butt weld joints. So basically you grab your tube and uh, you put the joint up next to it and uh, weld around it. So um, if you're not super super strong um they're perfect but for a bit of bar work where you need a tight radius bend um but they're not suitable for like roll cage or anything like super structural so don't go building a cage out of them but uh that's what you can that's what they're for um they're like five bucks a piece and yeah it just allows you to get a tighter radius than you would with a pipe notch so i picked up two different sizes that's some 25 mb and that's 32 mb as you can see i've got that as well but um yeah that is so that we can get a nice tight uh, corner uh, to go around the uh, basically the outside edge of the uh, rear quarter. So the plan is to run a tube along here, um, basically so that we're dropping down onto tube, not onto panel. Anyway, you may remember this piece of uh, pipe here from the last episode where we slightly overbent it. 
it's looking like this could be a possible option for a nice wee um, cord panel protection. So the angle's good, it follows the shape really nicely, tucks in. So um, if we do decide to go with uh, 32 nominal war uh, pipe for that, then uh, that'll be the go. Otherwise, 25, I'll have to just bend something up the same. But um, yeah, I guess don't throw your scrap out, you'll always find something for it. And uh, yeah. I now need to decide whether I want to go with 25 or 32. We used 25 originally on these wee outriggers here. However, um, it does look a little bit big coming off here. I quite like the uh, using multiple tube sizes. Um, it just yeah makes it look quieter. It just gives something more for the eye to look at. However, I'll grab a piece of 25 here. And I don't know what you guys reckon. However, I feel like a piece of 25 there. It just looks a little lost on the truck. Um, I'm not too concerned about strength because, I mean, if you hit either of them hard enough, they're going to bend. It's more just for, you know, gentle knocks and things like that. The back of the truck, it's just going to get beat up. Like, there's no XO or anything on it. It's a bit of a beater truck, so I'm not too concerned. But it would just be nice to have something at the bottom there, kind of finish the look off and offer a tiny bit of protection. So, I don't know, 32, 25... Leave a comment down below what you'd have done. Obviously, by the time this video is out, I'll have already done it, but curious to see uh, what you guys thought. think. Well, annoyingly, 32 it is. I think 25 just looks too lost on it. I wanted to go 25 just to, you know, use different tube sizes, and uh, also, it's quite nice to save a little bit of weight, because that's kind of the only thing the Rover's got going for it, is that it's light. But this is one of those times where, you know, looks wins over function, so 32 it is, plus it'll offer a little bit more strength though when we do smack it, so I guess that's one bonus. Right, well, as you can see, it's a new day. I got the uh, other side chopped um, in the evening, but didn't film it because obviously seen it before and it was dark, so we're just going to continue on uh, with where we left off. First things first, we've got to get the uh, old tubes finished being chopped off and tidied up so that we can uh, start work on putting, uh, putting new tubes in. <laughs> Matt's got the uh, old bars cleaned up. As you can see, we've now got the uh, new bar mocked up and in place. This is the same one from when we messed up uh, that bar there. So we're going to reuse it. So we'll just put, put a wee chop there and then um, the weld and bend plop that there, it's going to be great, but first things first, we better mark this notch and run the notch through. Um, we've been, uh, well, we've had people saying that we should uh, grab ourselves a tube notcher, and uh, we have, a, have now got a tube notcher, which is awesome, however, we've not got the hole saws for it, so we'll still be hand notching in this episode, but uh, yeah, soon we should have a uh, tube notcher. So we're all ready to slap one of the 90s on the end. We've got the uh, quarter panel protector tube all made up. So we'll just grab this and slap this on the end like there. Um, tack it in place and then we can start um, on the tubes that come forward from there. guys well this has come up an absolute treat you'd honestly you'd never even know that there was a uh, weld in there it all just looks like one piece so super pleased with the fit up of this all so uh, we'll continue on to the next one
that looks really good. Uh, it's come up awesome, so it's just tacked right now, so we'll whip it back off, fully weld it out, um, clean up the weld so you can't tell it was ever, you know, multiple pieces, and uh, slap it on for good. been a wee while since we uh, picked up the camera um, we got the bar back in as you saw and then we kind of potted around um, not really got time to do anything more so uh, we figured hey why not slap in some uh, tail lights slap the tires on and have a look this transformed the way this truck looks I'm so stoked um, I guess I can might as well show you guys Guys will fire out that looks so cool um, we didn't have plans to run uh, factory tail lights however seeing them in I definitely think we're gonna have to run them it really finishes off the look that just is so cool yeah. um, unfortunately we didn't uh, get in a whole lot of uh, bars done just the one it just took longer than expected um, as it always seems to um, which is all good but we'll just uh, keep pottering away um, with on the other side um, during the coming week but yeah Good progress is looking awesome so i think we'll wrap it up here make sure to uh, hit subscribe to stay tuned for everything we've got coming with the build and uh, with all the wheeling trips we've got planned um, do us a favor and share this video around um, these build videos don't seem to get a whole lot of love compared to the wheeling videos which i mean it's not for everybody but for those of you who do enjoy it it'd be really appreciated to uh, get it out there um, Give us a like if you've enjoyed today's video, drop a comment down below of what you thought, any questions let us know, any comments, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers guys for watching, we'll see you then. Filming. Well done. Not well done. I always forget to move the ground. <laughs>